the current state of looking at mast cell activation syndrome, histamine intolerance, allergy reactions, allergic reactions of all type, from diagnosis to treatment to results is a freaking crime scene. So you know what? We're gonna spill the tea today. Just wanted you to give you an idea is that the definition is that there are cells in your immune system that react to certain triggers uh, and there could be multiple types of triggers. And when these cells react to these triggers that it basically um, sees as foreign and irritating. Mm. Okay. It says, I don't like it. Then it sets up a whole cascade of other cells that starts to make histamines. Histamines will go throughout, flood up throughout your body. It's not just eyes, nose. It goes out throughout your body, does a lot of different things. And that's why there's such a wide variety of symptoms. And then as a result, um, people then have all these reactions. And sometimes because the cause can be multiple, right? Or it's not immediate for some people, it could be a little delayed. It's really confusing. So because of the large number of symptoms involved with these histamines, Classically, most people just think of it as allergic symptoms like hives, lip swelling, tongue swelling, maybe, maybe a little, some trouble breathing. Some people think of that, but at the same time, you will see later, we're going to go into it. There's many different types of histamine related reactions, including Christina, who had the POTS, which is a blood pressure and heart rate change. There's actually cardiovascular effects from histamines that even quote unquote specialists dealing with mast cell or histamine tolerance don't even know about or think about. So we have a lot of patients who are dealing with POTS, who are dealing with dysautonomia, who are dealing with autoimmune diseases, irritable bowel syndrome, you name it a lot, and who are dealing with menopause or hormone changes, or they just delivered a baby. And all of a sudden, all these symptoms come up because these histamines, hormones, blood pressure, heart symptoms are all related. Hi, I'm Meg UMD, and I'm a functional and holistic medicine physician and the creator of the Transform and Transform Protocol. If you're interested in learning what are the root causes of all chronic disease, go ahead and click the link in the description where I have a power-packed 30-minute training that goes over what are the five pillars of Transform. Go ahead, click the link, and I'll see you in that training. I want to go over really briefly just a scientific basis. So you all, all of us are talking the same language and you in the audience, I want you guys to think about this scientifically. So it makes scientific sense. You cannot deny this. Okay. This is fact. So if you look at this mast cell here, one of the immune cells in your body, it sees either food particles or an environmental trigger, or there are other triggers as well. But in this example, it's a food that you're reacting to. This mast cell gets, senses it reacts and says, it's irritating. I don't like it. It releases all these histamines. But histamines don't just go to the skin. But the rest of this, your doctors don't even know about it. Cardiovascular. How many of you know that you're, you have some sort of histamine reaction and you eat the food or you have an environmental trigger or something and your blood pressure changes, your POTS, your vertigo, meaning dizziness, your, your heart rate starts to go weird. That's cardiovascular. And then look at central nervous system. How many of you will get an anxiety attack, brain fog, ADD, lack of focus as a result of these reactions to histamines, right? And then they tell you you're cuckoo, right? And then we got like, what about uterus? The uterus part of this, it impacts your hormones. Histamines impact hormones. How many of you notice that you're going through either postpartum or certain times of the month, right? Or a man in a 44, his 40s to 50s or a teenager with hormones just starting to change, or you're going through perimenopause and boom, you're having all these histamine food allergic type reactions. And it's not just your classic allergy symptoms is impacting all these other symptoms, right? And I didn't even talk about cancer. So there's, I want to have a common language here for you to understand that this is a real scientific phenomena and it really scientifically with pathways impact every one of these other systems and many more. To learn more about the food mapping system and my food mapping masterclass, click the link above or below this video.